Welcome to the Nelly 1.6 introduction. You might be surprised about the opening. Well, especially if you're new to Nelly and you expect to see yet another network management tool, you might be in for a surprise as well. Let me show you what I mean. Nelly 1.6 continues its evolution from a simple network discovery tool to a respectable network management system. It's a real alternative because the discovery itself is still a central feature under active development, allowing for automatic detection of exchange devices, line cards or failed power supplies. Nedi gathers traffic, errors, discards and even inbound broadcasts of every interface in your network. With that, you can proactively identify potential problems. However, it does that every hour or even less on very large networks. Real-time graphs help troubleshooting particular interfaces. A gap still remains when you need more insight in your network traffic, however. That's where the NetFlow support comes in. It leverages the very efficient NFDump tools by Peter Hogg. A new module called Nodes Traffic directly visualizes the information provided by NFDump. Other modules provide links back to nodes traffic to accommodate common workflows like analyzing current connections of a particular host or investigating certain traffic peaks. Nedi's policy engine goes one step further and can be used to trigger alerts based on excessive traffic or lack thereof. Events created by those policies can then be analyzed with monitoring timeline for example. The maps have been improved quite a bit as well. It's possible to draw maps within a certain range of a reference device or create layer maps to draw data centers or DMCs properly. In addition, I will provide a long overdue tutorial soon. As all maps are generated dynamically, they can be used for monitoring dashboards as well now. A new editor lets you arrange them to be shown one after another or all at once. The monitoring incidents module was used to classify your outages. It can now be used for displaying active incidents on dashboards as well. Lots of minor improvements were made, like a standardized time frame entry using browser's native slider widgets, or the possibility to pull an SNMP OID for a set of devices in real time. This can be of great help when troubleshooting odd problems. When you've found the culprit, you can put it under maintenance by setting the monitoring test to none. It will then appear blue in Nedi and not generate any alerts until you exchanged the device or rebooted it. VLAN distribution is a new report showing which devices certain VLANs are configured on. It will tell you whether any access ports are found as well. Support for tagged ports in general is under development. RRDs have been adjusted to show the interesting bits rather than hiding them, as you can see in this example. They've also been optimized to fit better into the GUI or within maps. Last but not least, I've replaced the standard icon set with those from FatCow Hosting, primarily because they really look good and provide country flags, which were required by the NetFlow feature. We'll now have a look at the real Nedi 1.6. At first glance, it pretty much looks like 1.5, only those new icons give it away that something has changed. Also here in Monitoring Health, as I mentioned, the NetFlow integration takes place all over the GUI. So for example, you get new protocol and port summaries, which are clickable and can be used here, for example, to investigate protocols you're interested in. You can adjust the timeline. Maybe you only want to look at 10 hours worth of this traffic. And then the time frame here is taken into the node's traffic and it will be displayed. As you can see here, this host is recognized as a node. And this is an external IP address. I can resolve that and it takes a, or it might take a little moment the first time because it will look up the destination IP address, find out what country it belongs to and display it like that. 
Alternatively, you can select a pie chart. Instead, the RRD graphs. Now, if I would be interested in what else is Romulus doing, or anyhow, where is Romulus connected to, as Nedi recognized it as node, it links to node status. And as we can see here, there is one IP address associated with it. So even from node status, I do have a new feature going to node traffic. And now the difference is that we are filtering on the source host, Romulus, but the time frame now is the past five minutes. So I can quickly check what this host's been up to right now. Again, I can add the lookup feature. As I said, it will take a moment the first time until we get all this information from who is and DNS. The second time, it's cached and it will be very quick. Also, as soon as you have a filter defined here, which can be done by clicking on a label once, you get destination host, as this is the destination address column. I click it again, it will change to host. I can click it again, it will add destination net with a 24-bit subnet mask by default. Or click again and it's only net. And now we have a quick filter displaying this Google subnet and the hosts communicating with it. So here an Android device has been found as well. Now if I have a filter and let's say I want to sort it by bytes and I'm actually interested in who is talking to Google all that much, I can use this icon here which takes me to system policy, creates a new policy and as I sorted by bytes, which can also be packets or flows for now, you can set a threshold. So if the traffic is exceeded and those thousand bytes are a default, you can of course adjust it to fit your needs. I can add a event, give it a description and add it as a policy. So as you can see, I've added policy 95 and then I will get a traffic alert with this information in it. You can always check the policies here by clicking on this icon and it will apply the values as you'd expect. There's also other little features like displaying any outgoing web traffic, which again you can use with lookups and then you see who is talking to whom. As mentioned before, the monitoring map has improved in that you can have your maps displayed here, you can edit the maps in the editor and arrange them as you like. The monitoring incidents are shown here and you can filter on any incidents that are still ongoing or maybe add a class where you only want to see new incidents coming up. And then you can hide the header and have this bit displayed on a big dashboard in your network operations control center. As a real alternative network management, Nedi allows you to list devices just like that, create reports with a few mouse clicks. It also lets you look at your modules. Now you also see the status of power supplies. You can list interfaces, generate quick reports on voice over IP ports with the phones connected to them, or here list the VLANs, whereas the default here changed to the VLAN distribution report. It shows all the VLANs configured on the devices and how many access ports are configured in that VLAN. So for example here VLAN 53 has only one access port configured in it. You can either list VLAN 53 now with the two devices or you can list the VLANs on a single device just like that. Now you've learned about some of the new features of Neti 1.6 and probably also why it's a bit different than other tools and why I make different tutorials for that matter. Anyhow, I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye now.